So, hello guys, I'm doing a pretty video. Today I'm here to present you this new filter, which creates command block structures like this, which create scoring signs. So, first of all, let me actually stop this. Okay, that's done. And show you another example. This one is actually gonna scroll down, so that's vertically, because we can actually scroll, down, uh, scroll vertically and horizontally. So as you can see, that works as well. Now, I think that's going to be about it. So actually, let's start with the tutorial part. So if you want to use this filter, you will have to start out with a sign in your world. So let me g um, get an example, like this sign right here. Okay. And when you're done with that, you can go into MC Edit. So here we are in MC Edit. I'm going to select the sign first, then we go to filters, the signs color, that's what this one is called. Then we're going to select a face, I'm going to go for source selection, you can also leave it on default normally. This could sometimes cause trouble, so I'm just going to use source selection. Anyway, if you want a bit of a, an idea what the face actually means, uh, go check out my video on Hatsum Cracked Spawner Filter, which should be in the description. Um, yeah, I basically use exactly the same face concept as over there. So I'm not going to go entirely into the, it again. Now, for the source selection, it doesn't really matter what these two options are, so I'm just going to run this. Okay, now let's select the place where we basically want our command block chain to start. So I'm just going to select this place in the air, like over there or something. Now we're going to select target selection. Now the options do matter, so let me get into them. Uh, first of all, the scrolling direction. We are going to recreate this sign right over here, which means we ha are going to scroll right. Um, by the way, there's a catch here. If the text is moving left, that means you're actually scrolling right. It's, yeah, something you have to bear in mind, of course. Then the last input is the source file, so basically, um, filter will be searching for in a uh, folder called data in your filters folder. So basically make sure you have a folder called data. I'm basically trying to um, put everything you need for my filters in that folder from now on, or actually uh, already for a couple of weeks, but anyway. Um, so yeah, in there it will search for a text document with this name. In, this, in my case, Science Color 2. Um, and it will use that as a text input for this filter. So if you want an idea of what this actually looks like, I will link to this one and the one I used for the other example in the description so you know a bit how, what it should look like. But I think that's going to be about it. So let's press filter. We're going to save. And I think that's about it. So let's get back into Minecraft. So. Here we are, back in Minecraft, and let's show you something in action. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. And yeah, the text is just scrolling as it should, while the direction is also right. So let's deactivate it. And yeah, I think that's going to be about it, actually. Whoa, we didn't activate it. OK. Now we did. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be about it. Um, the filter download will be in the description, as always. I hope you liked it, but if you didn't, please leave a rating. I'd like to know what you guys think about this stuff. And I hope I will see you in another video.